Okay, so now that we have our height map exported out to the EXR format, we need to process it through Photoshop to turn it into the RAW format. But we have to do it in a specific way, so that way we retain all the information or all the data from the texture so we don't get the stair-stepping in Unity. All right, so let's go jump into Photoshop and take a look. Okay, so here I am inside of Photoshop. And what I want to do is I want to import our height map. So let's do this. Let's go into that folder. So I just have my Houdini project folder open and I've navigated into that text folder. Okay. And I'm just going to drag and drop this into the, the tabs up here. And we're going to import that EXR and we're going to set the alpha channel data to as alpha channel because I don't want it to set the transparency or anything. And it looks like um, I actually forgot to remap the height map. All right, so what I need to do is go back into Houdini. This will only take a second. You can see that for these output layers, I have the output range set to no remapping. Well, that means that um, the pixel values inside of our image are actually going to represent the height in meters of the actual height map here. And that's not what we want. We need the height map to actually fit between 0 and 1. So thankfully, this node has an auto remap and allows you to set that range. And so I'm just going to keep it into the zero to one range. So let's just do that. And let's save that to disk one more time. There we go. And let's go back into Photoshop over here and give that a go one more time. We'll import this guy back in here and as alpha channel for the alpha. And there we go. We now have our height map. Very cool. Okay. So uh, the next thing I went ahead and did already was I created a new grayscale image. Now, if you've never done that before in Photoshop, let's just do it really quickly. So I'm going to say File, New, okay, and it's going to open up the New Document window here. And so what I did is I went and created a new image that's the same size as my height map. All right, and I set it to the mode of grayscale here, and I'm going to set it to 16-bit. And the reason why I'm going to set it to 16-bit is just so we have a, a more or a higher resolution image there. But you also notice that uh, when we go and import a height map, so inside of the terrain toolbox here inside of unity there's some information in this little info box down here it says height maps must use a single channel and be either 8 or 16 bit in the raw format the resolution must be a power of 2 and it gives you a bunch of information over here about the imported map that you've selected but we haven't imported anything so everything is at its default there okay so let's go back to photoshop and do this one more time so we've created all these settings here so 1024 by 1024, grayscale, 16 bit, and you hit the create button. But since I've already done it, um, I'm just going to close this really quickly here. Okay, so you can always tell what format your images are in inside of Photoshop if you look at this information right here. So we have a grayscale 16 bit image. Over here we have an RGB 32 bit image. Okay, so all we really need to do, I'm just gonna select any one of these channels is a single one, and I'm going to copy it. All right, I'm going to say all, control A, control C, copy the red channel, and I'm just going to paste that into the grayscale channel here. And voila, there we go. We now have our image in there. Okay, and so what I want to do now is save this out to the raw format. Okay, so I'm going to come up here and say file. We're going to go and say save as. So let's do that. And I want to put it into my Houdini project, all right, inside of that text folder. And I want to select the raw format, so Photoshop raw. There we go. And I'm just going to give it the same name. So we're just going to do uh, landscape 001 height, like so. And we want to make sure to put it on IBM PC uh, if you're working on a PC or Mac if you're working on a Mac. All right, so I'm going to hit OK. There you go. We now have a raw texture so that we have successfully converted it over to raw and retained all the data that was exported out in this EXR format. All right, so I'm going to close the lecture out there. And in the next lecture, what I'm going to do is get it imported into Unity. And we're going to take a quick look at all the different settings you can set for your terrains. Thanks so much.